One of the most common questions asked regarding solenoid valves is what is the difference between a direct acting valve and a servo or pilot operated valve. So in this video we're going to talk about direct acting valves. Firstly let's remember when discussing solenoid valves that the solenoid coil is the electrical apparatus of the valve. The valve itself is the mechanical part of the operation. Direct acting valves are also, of all solenoid valves, the valves with the least amount of moving mechanical parts. Typically the have a the body itself um, and then an armature tube, the internal core or plunger with the, with the spring or fulcrum, the solenoid coil itself, which when placed over the armature tube or core creates the magnetic field pulling the internal plunger into the armature. So in this case this is normally closed, so in its natural state the valve is shut, so when energy is applied to the solenoid, the magnetic field created pulls it upwards, allowing the media, the fluid, the gas, etc. to flow through the valve. Moving on to the normally open variant, in this case the spring is actually holding the valve open, so in its natural state the fluid will just flow through. So in this case when the magnetic field is created the internal core is pushed downwards covering the orifice stopping the fluid, the media etc from flowing through the valve. So let's talk about the actual solenoid itself or coil now a coil is designed to convert electrical energy into lateral motion. Now the coil itself consists of copper wire which is wound around a sort of a bobbin or a tube and then when current flows through the coil this creates a magnetic field. So therefore when the internal coil is energized in this case in the normally open valve it pushes down as I said before. One of the big advantages of direct acting valves is that they work at zero pressure or zero bar, uh, meaning that they do not require any difference in pressure between the inlet and outlet ports in order to operate. Now, this does have limitations however in that although they work at zero pressure um, and indeed they'll work up to quite high pressures, all of the work is done by the solenoid. So eventually you, you will reach a point where the coils will just become bigger and bigger. For example, um, on the 106 valve you can have a, a type 2 coil or a type 5 coil, but the type 5 coil has a much higher power consumption, as you can see 27 watts as opposed to 10 watts and it's also more expensive because there's more copper in it. So if you were using a 1 inch direct acting valve the coil would be huge. So um, um, although it does have the benefit of the zero pressure um, you will reach a point where the coil will just become so large and the orifice size of the valve um, um, will become so big that the coil has to do all the work so therefore that's why the coil gets bigger and bigger. Um, then we move on to uh, servo valves or pilot valves or another option um, type of valve is an assisted lift valve which has a sort of benefit of both direct acting and servo valves but we'll discuss those on another video.